going to show you how the NIV perversion of the Bible actually covers up for the Roman Catholic priesthood. Jesus Christ warned about false Christ. He warned about people coming saying, I am Christ. But the NIV covers this up. Let me show you what Jesus Christ said in the Word of God, the King James. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4 to 5. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Matthew chapter 24, verses 23 to 24. And if any man shall come unto you, or say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there believe it not, but there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great wonders and signs, or signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they, should, they shall deceive the very elect. So Jesus Christ is warning about false prophets, false Christ, warning them people saying, I am Christ. Well, how does this describe the catechism, the Catholic, the Catholic priesthood? Well, in, in the Catholic Church Catechism number 1548, they teach that the Catholic priest is another Christ. He is a persona Christi Capitis, I think is how you call it, in the person of Christ. They teach that he is another Christ, the Catholic priest. Well, how does the NIV cover this up? Well, the NIV actually changes Christ's warning about false Christ and changes it to Messiah. Let me show you this. Matthew chapter 24, verse 5 in the NIV. For many shall come in my name, or many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. Um, I am the Messiah. Well, the Messiah is a term for Jesus Christ, but it covers up with the Catholic priest because they don't claim to be the Messiah. The Catholic priests do not claim to be the Messiah. They claim to be Jesus Christ in the person of Christ. You know, um, or is it, uh, in, you know, a substitute son of God, which is what the Pope is. Matthew chapter 24, verse 23 to 24 in the NIV. And at that time, if anyone says unto you, Lo, he, look, here is the Messiah, or here, there he is, do not believe it, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders and deceive, to deceive, if it were possible, even the elect. So hard to read this stupid thing, but... Uh, there you go. They remove Christ's warning about false Christ and talk about, oh, it's false messiahs. And again, Catholic priests don't claim to be the Messiah. They claim to be in the person of Christ. It covers up for the Catholic priest. It covers up for the Antichrist Catholic priesthood. Because uh, an Antichrist is someone who's imitating Jesus Christ. Well, every Catholic priest is an Antichrist. Because they're claimed to be Christ in the person of Christ. You know, a substitute son of God. They can, they're a mediator between you and God. Well, the Bible says in, in um, 1 Timothy 2.5 that Jesus Christ is the only mediator between God and man. We don't need a Catholic priest. The Catholic priest can't forgive sins. Only Jesus Christ can forgive sins because he's God. Jesus Christ is God. Only he can forgive sins. And by the way, he's God the Father too. He's the same being as God the Father. The, God the Father, I'll just go on a rant here. The Trinity is, is uh, Catholic paganism. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and God the Father are the same being. They're not two separate persons at the Trinitarians claim. So yes, Jesus Christ is God. And yes, he can forgive your sins. You don't need to go to a Catholic priest to get your sins forgiven. The Catholic priest is a false Christ. They are an Antichrist. So, yeah, there you have it. The NIV covers up for the Catholic priest, priesthood, the Antichrist Catholic priesthood. So don't be deceived by these modern perversions of the Bible. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Goodbye.